Hello children, today our lesson is data interpretation. Okay, in earlier lesson we learned how to collect data, how to collect information with the help of the tally mark and thereafter we learned how to represent them using a table or a picture graph. Now we are going to collect information with the help of this type of picture graphs or tables. Okay, for an example I have given you a table now, not a picture graph, now it is a table. Okay, some information is given to you. Now we are going to collect some information with the help of this, draw some information. Okay, uh, in during some months the number of bottles sold. This is the first example in your textbook. Okay, so according to that the table provides data on the sales of 175 milliliter bottles of fruit juice marketed by a company during the first five months of the year 2014. Uh, that collected data is represented here. So here the first question is how many more bottles were sold in February then January we can see more than the month of January in the month of February more bottles are sold so they are asking how many more bottles are sold in the month of February than January that means we need to subtract need to get the difference so at that time in the month of February uh, 20 uh, 32,000 bottles were sold from that you subtract the number of bottles sold in the month of January so it's 2000 bottles right then in Roman number 2 the question is considering the months of March and April considering the months of March and April what was the total sales during these two months uh, total sales means how to add these two so in horizontal way or in vertical way you can write in the month of March it's better if you can write the names in the month of March 31,500 bottles and in the month of April 34,800 bottles were sold. So the total number of bottles sixty-six thousand three hundred bottles were sold in total. Next in Roman number 3 considering these five months during which month were sales highest and during which month were sales lowest that is the first question that means uh, we need to find uh, which month they have got highest sales and lowest sales and along with that another question is mentioned what is that what was the quantity of sales during these two months are uh, along with the month you need to write the number of bottles which were sold right highest sales is in the month of we can see 34,800 is the highest number so in the month of April, April only they have got highest sales then what is that amount 34,800 bottles along with the month you can write this then the lowest sales from the smallest number we can get that smallest number is 30,000 so that is in the month of January so in the month of January we can see the lowest sale and that number is 30,000 bottles next question number four write down the ratio of the number of bottles sold in January to the number sold in May in its simplest form okay in the month of January and in the month of May January to May the number of bottles which were sold there uh, in the simplest form we should know that whenever we write a ratio in the simplest form only we need to write as much as possible you need to simplify this anyhow firstly we will mention the name of the month month of January and May right uh, in January month 30,000 bottles were sold and in the month of May 33,000 bottles were sold and to simplify this we know that zeros can be cancelled out we can see three zeros are common to either sides 
then what will remain 30 to 33 then we can see both the numbers are divisible not by 2 not by 5 but by 3 by 3 both are divisible we can see 30 is divisible by 2 but 30, 33 is not and 30 is divisible by 5 but 33 is not but by 3 both are divisible so when we divide by 3 10 is coming here from here 11 is coming so 10 to 11 is the ratio in its simplest form Okay children, uh, in the second example, the table represented the number of students in a certain school who passed the grade 5 scholarship examination during the last 5 years, during the last 5 years. Okay, so here question number 1 is, find the total number of students who passed the exam during the given 5 years, that means you need to add simply. Okay, if you want, you can write along with the year in 2014-16. It's not compulsory of writing the years, but it's better when you add all. hundred and eighteen students then in Roman number two in which year the least number of students passed the exam least number of students the least number is this one the minimum number least number of students were passed in the month of 2015 sorry in the year of 2015 Next third question, in which year the most number of students passed the exam? Okay, the maximum number is 35. So that particular year is 2018. Next Roman number 4, how many more students were passed in 2018? Then in 2015, uh, how many more students? We can see this number is greater than here. That means in the month, in the year of 2018, many more students are passed than 2015. They are asking how many more students are passed. That means the difference should be found. So they are we will subtract 10 from 35. 25 students. 25 more students are passed in the year 2018 than 2015. Next Roman number 5. Find the total number of students who passed in 2014 and 15. Uh, 14 and 15 means these two. Right. The total they are so we will add 26 students are passed in both the years as a total. Okay, if I'm asking another question, another additional question, uh, what can you tell about the number of students who passed this grade 5 scholarship examination in the last four years? What can you tell about the number of students who have been passed in grade 5 scholarship exam in last four years? In last four years. So why haven't they mentioned about this one, this previous year? And what is the special thing that you can see in these last four years? Uh, we can see the number of students who have passed is decreased here than the previous year. Usually, annually, it should be increased. But here it is decreased a little than the previous year, than, than the year 2014. But after that, we can see gradually the number of students who are passing the exam is increased here. So that is the special thing that we can see 10 to 24, 24 to 33, 33 to 35. So gradually it is increased there. So you can write it as the number of students who has passed grade 5 scholarship exam has been increased gradually. Okay, now children, 
with the help of a picture graph only we are going to interpret data that means when you are given a picture graph how to collect different types of data earlier you were given tables so with the help of the tables you collected some information the least number the greatest number the difference the total the ratio likewise now you are given a picture graph and in this picture graph they have given us with one symbol that they are representing 10 vehicles this is the first example given in your textbook under the subtopic okay sometimes they may not give us this explanation here understood at that time they may give us one clue so using that clue you can find how many items are represented by one symbol given here so you need to identify the clue given to you okay but here there is no any problem like that by one symbol 10 vehicles are represented if so by half of the vehicle five vehicles are represented so according to this is there any way to represent one vehicle two vehicles three or four vehicles or well sometimes eight vehicles there is no any other way we can represent only 10 vehicles and five vehicles using this symbol understood so uh, they have given us some questions uh, actually as a summary only you are given in the textbook but i have given you few questions so before going to the questions whenever you are given a picture graph like this according to this explanation according to this description you write the number of vehicles in this corner it's better it makes easy for us to answer all these questions otherwise one by one we have to calculate so the first thing you need to do here is write the accurate number of vehicles with the help of the symbol okay here we know that 10 20 30 40 45 there are 45 vehicles here 10 vehicles 10 20 25 vehicles here 5 vehicles here 20 vehicles okay now the first question what is the type of the vehicle the type they ask what is the type of the vehicle that joined highway most ah. we can see the greatest number is 45 that means cars have joined cars joined highway most at this time so we can write cars next what is the type of the vehicle that joined highway least minimum number of vehicles uh, that is chiefs uh, less number of chiefs join the highway that means jeeps next find the number of lorries find the number of lorries that joined highway okay lorries here 20 it's easy now no need to count again one by one 20 lorries next find the total number of vehicles that joined highway need to add so 45 plus 10 plus show the addition okay direct don't write the answers in any equations in mathematics so when we add what will come we will count by counting even can get 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 uh, 100 105 and the last question is find the number of vehicles other than lorries that joined highway number of vehicles other than lorries uh, we don't want lorries okay if want from 105 you can subtract 20 that is one way or else by counting can get okay 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 85 other than lorries we got that answer now children in the second example uh, we can see the pictograph given below represents the number of students who prefer each fruit in a certain school okay but here there is a small problem what is that by one symbol they haven't given us the exact number of students represented by okay so we will go to the first question and we will see what they ask 
In the pictograph, how many students are represented by the symbol this? By one symbol. If 400 students prefer bananas. Uh, now we know that in the first row we can see the students who prefer banana are represented. Okay, so they tell us if 400 students prefer bananas, how many students are represented by one symbol? Okay, if you here in your mind you can get it as 400. Okay, 400 students should be represented here. If so, we know that by one symbol, by one symbol, 100 students should be represented. But if it is a if it is not a multiple hundred or if it is a little bit complex number, how can we get that? Simply you divide the number by the number of symbols here. By that also you can get the answer. Okay, you can show the way that you get the answer 400 divided by 4, the number of symbols here. So 100 students are coming. Okay. So in Roman number 2, uh, now after deciding this, you can get the numbers now here. So here 100, 200 by half of the symbol 50 now. So 250 here. Just I am writing them. Huh? Now 100, 150. Here we will see whether it is 0 or any other clue they have given to us to fill this. Here 5 symbols are there. That means 500 students should be there. Roman number 2, how many students like pineapple? Uh, pineapple 250 students next roman number three 300 students like grapes uh, this empty row 300 students like grapes represent this in the pictograph oh, now we know to represent that 300 should be divided by the number of students uh, represented by one symbol that means three symbols should be drawn in in some of the examples or in some questions uh, these type of values may not come at that time what should we do the given value should be divided by the number of items represented by one symbol okay so here we will draw three symbols Next Roman number 4. Which fruit is preferred by most number of students? Many students prefer, and now we know here this is 300, many students prefer oranges. Next, how many students like pineapple than mangoes? How many students like pineapple? than mangoes uh, with the help of the symbol even you can get or else with this from 250 you can subtract 150 100 students next find the total number of students in this school now you can add all these values here 400 250 150 300 500 1600 students form tens it's easy for you 5 3 8 8 plus 2 is 10 uh, 10 plus 4 14 15 16 like that you can add form tens make tens when you add uh, so children hope that this lesson is not a very hard for, hard one for you so i think that you will be able to go to the exercises and engage in them by yourself uh, after that we can discuss our answers